Hello marvelous friends on the YouTube welcome to this video uh, in this video we will be looking at alternative characters a problem from string manipulation section in the playlist hacker rank interview preparation kit so this is marked as easy problem for score 20 so let's go into the problem so we will start with the problem definition after that we will look at the explanation how we can solve this and after that I will write code for this and I will be adding chapters if you are on low on time you can watch it at 2x or you can generally skip to the coding part so let's look at the problem definition first so what we are been asked to do in this particular problem is we will be given a string that will have characters that is a and b that is like only two characters will be present and our task will be to change the string into that no uh, matching addition character that means there shouldn't be a a or b b present so that means we need to have alternative characters so if we occurred a first then second character need to be b after that b we need to have a and so on so forth so this is particularly easy problem uh, it just required transversal of string and i thought of not doing this however because i am doing the whole playlist of 69 problems i uh, considered uh, doing it okay let's look through the example after that which will proceed with code what we simply can do is this is the particular example we'll see how we can uh, work around this particular problem our requirement is we need to have alternate character and we'll check if for any character the neighboring character is same or not so for a we don't have character on the left hand side because our array or string starts from here so what we'll basically do is we'll use a for loop for transversal and then we'll land at this particular point and from here we'll check if the previous character is same or not if it is same we will increment the count let's say we have a count here and we are just incrementing count in order to see how many characters are repeated which we need to delete which need to needs to be deleted so count will be incremented by one after that our pointer will come at this particular position here we will check if the previous character is same of uh, the character is present at the particular pointer if yes we will again increment the count so this will be again one after that our pointer will move at this particular position here we'll check if the previous element is same or previous character is same that of the current pointer's character. If it's same, we'll again increment the counter. So basically, this will give how many characters needs to be deleted in order to get an alternating character. So this is 3 and the answer is 3. So let's go ahead with the second problem. Uh, I'll take this because it has uh, alternating characters. So give me a minute. Okay, now for this example, we'll check if there are uh, there are repeating character so what we'll do is we'll start from here because a wo won't have the left side character so we'll check if the previous character is same that of the current pointers if yes we'll increment the count if not we won't do anything so let's uh, take here we will we'll be counting counts here for this particular string so we'll hop on to the next element or character we'll check if this particular character is same of that of its previous no will uh, move our pointer so we can basically do this transversal using for loop we'll check if the previous element is same as that of b no so we'll again move ahead we'll check if previous element is same that of a no we'll again move our pointer to the right direction we'll check if the previous element is same or not no we'll check and so on so on so we can see this particular string of a b a b a b is of uh, alternating characters and there is no need of deletion uh, required here so we can see the answer for this particular solution is zero okay so let's take another example let's go with this particular series and check how many deletions are required so we can uh, we can concrete our logic and after that uh, we'll write code so this is a triple a <laughs> a become a large <laughs> so let me write that. okay here we'll check from here we'll see if the previous element is same that of the current elements so we'll increment the point counter that needs to be deleted so this will be a plus one after that our pointer will move at this particular position we'll check if the previous element is same that of the current yes so we'll again increment the value by one after that we'll check if the previous element is same that of current no it is not so we'll pass on after that we'll check if element at present at i th index is same as i minus 1 yes and similarly for this so we need to add two more for this b and uh, again this b so this will basically give us the account that is a 4 there are four number of deletions required in order to make a 
alternate character string so this is the basic simple logic behind the program so let's start with the coding and if there is any doubt i hope that will get clear okay now i have written the basic template for c++ program and we'll write write the code for this particular uh, problem so before writing the code we need to look at two important things that is one is constraint how the uh, constraint is given and what is the range which we need to look and second is how input is being taken okay we can see that how uh, constraints are given um, q is a test case and that is in the range of 1 to 10 and s is a string and they might uh, go from 1 to 10 to the power 5 so we'll start writing code and the input is being taken as test case and strings the how many number of strings which will be given so first let's start okay so basically we'll first declare the variable so it will be int test case first and second would be string so, and now we'll take the input that is test cases or they have mentioned q in their case and we'll add a while or for loop whichever you prefer so this will be again a basic format for writing the code after this we'll take the input for given string and for this particular string we have to transfer it into the loop and we check each character and we'll compare it with the previous character if it's same or not if it's same we'll increment the count if it's not we'll simply move on to the next character so for this we can do is we'll add a for loop and we'll loop it from 0 i is equal to 0 sorry not ti i is equal to 0 till i is less than that of string length and we'll increment i and in this for loop what we'll simply have is we'll have a if condition we'll check if the string uh, which is present at ith value or we can say i plus 1 value is equal to is equal to string or not it's not string it's character is present at i value so th th this basically means is the whole statement represent that we are checking the character and we are comparing it with the previous element so we can either do like i with 1 and then compare with i minus 1 or we can uh, go with 0 and then we can compare it i plus 1 so these are both the same thing and here if this condition is met we need to increment the count so let me declare, declare a count variable so it will be int of int type and we need to initialize the value to 0 because for every iteration or every test case uh, the value of count will be changed so what we'll do is we'll declare the value or initialize the value here and we'll increment the count here okay so this is the whole problem and we'll simply output our count and that is the like how many delegations are required in order to solve the problem so i have to add endl as well because we are having test cases and hacker rank uh, checks formatted output very closely so so i think this is good so let's check if it works or not oh compilation error using namespaces okay i misspelled not namespaces its names semicolon was there extra bracket was forwarded and let me check if there is another error so you can clear it right now okay i don't think so so let's check okay it passes the basic test cases so let's check for the hidden test cases and if you are someone who is trying to solve all the problems for hacker rank interview preparation kit do check other videos and if you feel there is a need of improvement you could suggest me on anything which will help me to improve on the video do let me know in the comment thank you have a great rest of the day